Hey everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. So, sunscreen has been a hot topic of recent months, especially ever since the Pareto controversy. And it's been a, such a mammoth task in getting people to wear sunscreen, but also getting people to trust sunscreens and really trust the SPF rating value. However, I definitely feel that this year has seen a huge increase in people wearing sunscreen and sort of understanding how important sunscreen is. And so for today's video, I wanted to really shine a light on a sunscreen brand that has been around for quite some time now, but really is starting to kind of merge its way into the UK and also into sort of like the US market. However, with saying that obviously with any brand in skincare I really do have my likes and dislikes, my favourites and my least favourites, my best and my worst and you know sunscreen is no exception into that and so EV Technology is a skincare brand that specialises in sunscreen mousses and when you hear me say sunscreen and mousses you're like what? How is that even possible? Well, we'll get onto that in a minute. But EV Technology was created in Sweden. So they are a Swedish brand and it was actually created in 1999. And it's crazy to think that we are in 2021, like way into 2021 now. Where is time going? Oh my God, I was born in 1994. I, I am, oh, don't. <laughs> That is scary. Okay, anyway, back to EV technology. So, they really do specialise in sunscreen mousses that have long-lasting protection against the UVA and UVB rays that are really reliable and trustworthy and have actually been found to stay on the skin and protect the skin for up to six to seven hours. However, I don't want you to think that these sunscreen mousses are a once a day application because no sunscreen is a once a day kind of thing. You really do have to reapply sunscreen up to every two hours, but more frequently if you are sweating or if you have been in the sea or in the water or anything like that. And also if the, um, the sun is absolutely beaming down on you and you're outside. And so the EV Technology Sunscreen Muses are actually patent formulations because of the advanced technology and sort of like the application um, that goes into these products. So really these products are designed just to really support uh, your skin's natural defense system and your skin's barrier, whilst also really sort of like allowing to kind of go over the top layers of the skin and be super long lasting and really sort of resistant against the external environment. And it's really great to know as well that all of their products are safe for children and they are recommended by dermatologists, which is definitely a label that can be overused and misinterpreted quite a lot. So there are differences between dermatologists tested and dermatologists approved and definitely kind of like believing in that. But when you actually see dermatologists rave about these sunscreens and actually physically recommend them, then you know you're on for a winner. So first up, we wanna talk about, well, yeah, the kids sort of sunscreen mousses because I was actually really, really surprised by this. So we have the 30 S the, the SPF 30 sunscreen mousse um, and then also the SPF 50 sunscreen mousse as well. So pretty much these are exactly the same sort of in terms of formulation, but obviously with um, it being an SPF 50, you are going to see more of the um, sort of sunscreen ingredients higher up in the ingredients list and these kind of sort of like gradually a little bit down on the list. And so the first things that I really do love about the children's SPS is that they are pretty big. So they're 150 mils compared to, um, say for instance, the normal SPF, which is 100 mils, and then also products that we'll speak about in a minute, which is 75 mils. You're really getting a lot of product for your money in regards to buying the children's. And really there isn't kind of like, Oh, I, if I'm not a child, I can't, I can't use this. Like, absolutely, you can. So another reason why I was super, super surprised is that they really just felt like they were protecting my skin. They were really incredibly lightweight. Um, it does say they're non-sticky. However, they are sticky. For me personally, I did find them quite tacky and quite sticky. Even sort of, you know, uh, half an hour to 45 minutes 
after ap applying it onto my skin like it was still sticky but I was really really surprised by these I thought they were going to be a lot thicker a lot richer um, and give me a white cast but yeah it was just invisible and so just to demonstrate the mousse element of these products I've got the SPF 50 for the children's one here and what I like to do is just shake it up a little bit like that and then point it downwards towards my sort of like on my hand this just allows a better application sort of like better dispersion of the product um, I have no idea what I'm saying um, but yeah just squeeze it in a little bit and then it comes out, it comes out really kind of like really fast and um, really creamy. And at first you're kind of like thinking, ooh, am I, how much am I actually applying onto my skin? Um, so really definitely is something to get used to, especially, you know, a new sort of like texture and consistency element of applying a sunscreen. Once you've sort of like used it for a couple of times, then you kind of really do know how much you need. Obviously I put way too much for my hand there, but it really is, so so fun to just to kind of work in and just yeah just sort of allow your skin to have a full full coverage with these products I really really do enjoy kind of like um, kind of like working it in ever so slightly getting a really full coverage and then applying to another side of my skin and then going back to it and in terms of the sunscreen filters of these products and the protection that you can expect they are chemical sunscreen filters in these products so you'll expect ingredients like avabenzone, octocrylene, tinosorb S, um, uvenil A plus and uvenil T150 so really a mix of your gold standard and um, chemical filters and mixed in with with your next generation sort of like sunscreen filters in there as well so really long lasting protection against uva and also uvb rays obviously we know uva causes the aging and the uvb it causes the burning on the sort of like the top layers of the skin and so then the next product that i am absolutely obsessed with is the daily defense face mousse spf 50 so this comes in at 75 mils so yeah half the size of the children's SPF like you can just see the sort of like the size difference there I've really nearly nearly ran out of this and um, which is so sad because I love it so much but it really has been an absolute staple in my skincare routine especially for the really hot summer days that we have been having recently this has just been absolutely fantastic to kind of be that moisturizer with the SPF kind of like mixed in as well it's not as sticky as the children's SPF but you kind of do have a slight tackiness um, for I'd say 45 minutes after application and then for me it goes away like my skin I'm wearing it on today and it doesn't feel tacky or sticky or anything like that and so of course this sunscreen mousse has UVA UVB protection it's five stars UVA and it also has four pluses on the PA sort of um, rating scale. And but what sets this apart is that the ingredients in this. So like it says on the front of the packaging, it's blue light, DNA high, SPF protection, it prevents dark spots, it's anti-aging and it's long lasting. So obviously with any sunscreen, it will prevent the dark spots from sort of like being more prominent and reoccurring. Reoccurring and obviously anti-aging sunscreen is a fantastic anti-ager but yeah it's just the whole formulation of this product that sets it apart from everything else in the brand so it has scope sodium ascorbyl phosphate which is the salt form of vitamin c just really great at being an antioxidant at sort of being your anti-acne sort of like um, abilities in there and just really great at brightening the skin it also has like your glycerin in there and your butylene glycol in there so really great humectants and of course really really high spf rating value as well and then moving on to another product that I've really been enjoying but maybe just a little bit less than the previous product so this is the daily UV face mousse SPF 30 so this looks identical to the daily defense mousse SPF 50 um, to be honest with you I don't know why they're different names and um, I just know that in terms of ingredients in there obviously the sunscreen and filters are a little bit lower down on the ingredients list just because it is an SPF 30. Um, however, this does have sodium hyaluronate in there, which is a really fantastic humectant. And it also has allantoin in here as well, which is a really great soothing ingredient for your inflammation and your irritation as well. However, I definitely think that if this was an SPF 50, I would be reaching for it a lot more, which would probably make it top dog. It would rank it as the best. But yeah, the ingredients really do shine a light on how amazing this product 
product is and it just really applies on the skin very nicely it doesn't feel sticky on the skin it feels really lightweight and absorbs into the skin perfectly as well i would say it's on the same lines as um the Daily Defense SPF 50 in terms of finish, whereas obviously the children's one is really sticky and really tacky. But again, this has sodium ascorbyl phosphate in there and also vitamin E, so really great antioxidants protect, to protect your skin from um, oxidative stress and free radicals and you know all of the pollutants out there. Um, and also it has your sunscreen filters of avobenzone, octocrylene, has Uvenol T150, Uvenol A+, um, Tynosorb S, you know, all of that gel. Same application as all of the other sunscreen mousses is just applying it like so. These definitely are a lot kind of more creamier in terms of sort of like texture and consistency compared to the children's SPFs. So sort of like the ordinary SPFs, the kind of adult ones if you'd like to call them, a lot more sort of like creamier um, and kind of a bit more richer in texture but still lightweight and still invisible on the skin once rubbed in of course. <laughs> And then moving on to a product which I really have been enjoying, but again, not as much as the other products. So this is the Sunscreen Mousse SPF 50, and basically this is just your sort of you know, generic sunscreen product. Um, however, with some special ingredients in there as well. So this obviously looks different because it has the blue bottle with the orange lid. And then of course, the children's SPF is the blue bottle with the yellow lid. And then we have like the moisturizing and the hydrating products that are sort of like brown with a clear lid. So this is slightly different in terms of ingredients because it has a fantastic next generation peptide in there, which is really just great at targeting the signs of aging and promoting collagen renewal and also being a fantastic um, skin protector, like skin defensor um, against external environments. And again, it's got your same chemical filters in there. So it's really going to protect your skin from the UVA and also the UVB um, rays. It's got glycerin in there so it's going to hydrate the skin and of course it's got your sodium ascorbyl phosphate in there as well it's definitely that same mousse application and um, it's kind of a bit less richer than the moisturizing hydrating products um but yeah it really does sort of kind of like feel nice on the skin and nice and moisturizing at the same time again it doesn't leave a white cast at all on my skin tone anyway um, and just invisible. It feels less sticky than the children's SPF but a little bit more sticky than the moisturizing SPFs. <laughs> and then finally is the Daily Repair Mousse, which is a moisturizer. So it doesn't have any sunscreen filters in there. It's not gonna protect your skin from the UVA or the UVB rays. So please don't think that it is an SPF because it absolutely isn't. What it is, is just, it's a moisturizer. It's gonna really sort of like nourish and moisturize the skin. So you can use it on your face, your body, and also on your hands. It's a really fantastic sort of like ingredients and formulation product because because it has urea in there, which is a, such a great ingredient for hydration and just sort of like just really sh um, strengthening the skin. It's also got um, allantoin in there again, which is really great for sort of inflammation and irritation on the skin. For me personally, it, it just, again, it felt sticky on the skin. And so those are all of the products I've currently tested from EV Technology. And there are like one or two products that I do have, but I just haven't opened them. They're pretty much the same product, just with a different SPF rating. So in terms of ranking them from like my most favorite to my least favorite, I definitely think that um, the Daily Defense face mousse and the Daily UV face mousse would definitely be up there as top dogs. I think just to be that sort of like hybrid product, that moisturizer and that sunscreen as well. I just think fantastic ingredients, fantastic application and really, really great um, SPF protection as well. The only downside to these, obviously they are 75 mils and they are on the small side. I think ranking third or technically second, I would definitely say the sort of ordinary SPF 50 sunscreen mousse, just because of that next generation peptide in there. I just think that elevates it ever so slightly and um, just the whole application and the texture as well. It's, it's kind of, it's not as sticky as the children's one. And then obviously um, kind of like at my bottom would be the 
sunscreen mousses um, for the children's. These, even though, really did surprise me in terms of like the texture and the consistency um, and the formulation, I just found it far too sticky on my skin. Um, just to really kind of enjoy the products and reapply them and reapply them anyway. And then of course, because it isn't an SPF um, and I did find it slightly sticky, um, would be the daily repair mousse. So thank you so so much for watching. I really do hope you've enjoyed this video and I really do hope that you are keeping safe, keeping well and keeping positive. And I will see you very very soon for a brand new video. See you later. Bye bye.